All right, good morning. I am Faith York with the York family, and several people have asked me how I play the piano, and someone asked me to do a YouTube tutorial. So full disclaimer, I am not by any means the best piano player. I took about five years of lessons, and I didn't have theory in my background, um, so I just basically learned to play everything you're about to see by ear. Um, so it's not going to be probably correct, but um, hopefully it'll be a help to you. So inverted chords are going to be your best friend. So if you're just starting out, um, don't get too overwhelmed with what I'm doing with inverted chords. But if you practice these, then they get easier and they will make your piano uh, music sound a lot fuller and it'll kind of break up the monotony. So when I say inverted chord, this song that we're going to be doing, he's good like that. It's an E flat, and we sang it um, a couple songs back on our YouTube channel. If you want to listen to it, but it's an E flat, and an E flat chord, a basic chord is E flat G B flat. I hardly ever use that chord. I invert almost every single chord I play, which is probably why it sounds um, a little different to some, but. Inverted chords are used a lot. So instead of doing E flat, G, and B flat, I will invert that. You use the same notes, just different positions. So this B flat right here is going to go down here. And this G is going to go down here. So we're still playing the same notes, just different positions. So E flat, B flat, and G. So instead of this, it's going to be this. Sometimes I will play B flat, E flat, and G. Sometimes I'll even put an octave and I'll play that E flat right there. Now, if you want to get really fancy, sometimes I'll add an F in. And my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do is take an inverted E flat chord, so G, B flat, E flat, and instead of playing this G, lower it to an F. I'm going to show you in a minute what that sounds like with what I do with my left hand. So, I'm going to go through the verse, I'm going to sing it all the way through, and you can watch me play, and then I'll go back and break it down for you. So he's good like that. this way throughout the whole song um, so if you learn the basics then you can make your song fuller prettier um, less monotonous so on my left hand I'm doing an E flat octave and I'm putting a B flat in the middle so have you ever felt the warmth on the warmth I don't change chords but I do change positions of what I'm playing so have you ever felt the warmth of the sun? I just do a G with an E flat, and then I go to my A flat chord. After another long night, I hit that one by itself, and then I add an F. Was done, and then I do the same thing again. And you open your eyes to a brand new sunrise. Now, on this next one, instead of doing just a straight octave, I'll roll my octave. So, God's faithfulness, God's faithfulness is there again. So, when you roll your octave, you're just going to take notes that are in that E flat chord and roll them. So, I do an E flat, B flat, E flat, F, G. So, real slow, it's. And when you put it in your song, it's. Okay, so there's that. 
right hands. I basically do the same thing. I use a lot of inverted chords. Sometimes I'll even do an octave, but I'm just going to keep the rhythm with my right hand. I don't necessarily ever play the melody with my right hand when we're singing as a family. Um, if you're doing something in church, like for offertory or something, then by all means, yes, do the melody so people know what you're playing. But when you're accompanying someone, accompanying someone, just keep the rhythm. So, I start out with an E flat, B flat, and G on my right hand, and then we have that octave on the left. So, have you ever felt, and this is where it's pretty, you could just stay right here. Have you ever felt the warmth of the sun? Then go to A flat. After another long night was done. But what I like to do is this right here. Have you ever felt the warmth? So that's my G, my E flat on my left hand, and my F, B flat, and E. And see how much prettier that sounds? It just breaks it up. It makes it sound fuller. Have you ever felt the warmth of the sun? I'm keeping my A flat chord the same. I'm hitting my B flat. Night was. Then when I change to my B flat chord, I hit the F. Was done. Then you do it again. And you open your eyes to a brand new sunrise. God's faithfulness. Then I go to an octave. B flat, E. Sometimes I hit the F. God's faithfulness is there. a lot of notes to play but it makes it sound fuller and you can do it just you know your regular he's good like that but the more notes you put in there it gives it a different sound he's good playing an E flat, A flat, B flat, C. And there's never a moment he doesn't know. Right there, that F chord again. I don't know what it's really called. No matter the sorrow, he'll be in here tomorrow. It's a fact. He's good. the same thing and then we get to the tag so he's good like that so we're gonna go to an F minor so normally an F minor would just be an F octave chord and you could play F A flat C but what I like to do is put an E flat in there so I'm going from an E flat and then I'm gonna play so here's my F A flat C but that E gives it a different sound I hit that F instead of this G right here. He holds the world. Oh. He reaches down in grace. He knows you by name. Then I move up to do the first two lines here. So I'm doing the same notes. I'm just a little higher on the piano. He's good like that. A 
C and, and you roll it down. you if you have any questions you can uh, message me or you can send me a comment and I'll try to get back to you hopefully that's a help